The goal of many space agencies at the moment is to explore the Martian surface and identify if there's any life currently on or underneath the planet's surface. Various Mars rovers have made discoveries that have helped us to better understand the Martian terrain, weather and overall environment. These rovers even have onboard laboratories, meaning they can conduct a variety of different experiments while on the Red Planet. NASA said the following on their website. The Mars 2020 Perseverance rover mission is part of NASA's Mars Exploration Program, a long-term effort of robotic exploration on the Red Planet. The mission addresses high-priority science goals for Mars exploration, including key questions about the potential for life on Mars. Perseverance takes the next step by not only seeking signs of habitable conditions on Mars, but also searching for signs of past microbial life itself. The rover introduces a drill that can collect core samples of the most promising rocks and soils, and set them aside in a cache on the surface of Mars. A future mission could potentially return these samples to Earth. That would help scientists study these samples in laboratories with special room-size equipment that would be too large to take to Mars." End quote. Ever since the Perseverance rover was launched though, various online users have reported seeing mysterious artifacts on the surface, with one of the most recent ones being this one. It was shared to online groups that investigate strange artifacts on the Martian surface, and those who saw the image agreed that it looks like mold or mushrooms growing on the rock. Some users said that the fungus grew on the Martian surface within a few days, and said that they don't look like pieces of rock. Others carried on from this and said that for years NASA has been capturing life on Mars, but has failed to further examine these photographs. Dr. Regina Das, of the Department of Microbiology School of Life Sciences in India, said that the photographs are interesting, saying the following, there are no geological or other forces on Earth which can produce sedimentary structures by the hundreds which have mushroom shapes, stems, stalks and shed what looks like spores on the surrounding surface. In fact, 15 specimens were photographed by NASA growing out of the ground in just three days. Although Dr. Edwin Kind, a planetary geoscientist at the University of Chicago said the following, I don't know who reviewed the paper, but I would take away their license as a biologist, especially as a microbiologist. These features are well understood. They are abiotic features caused by saltation abrasion, or wind erosion. Numerous examples have been inspected by rovers. They are not fungi. End quote. Dr. Vincenzo Rizzo a National Research Council biologist also made some interesting comments about the photographs, saying the following. As we detail in our article, 90% of terrestrial methane is biological in origin, and seasonal fluctuations in atmospheric methane are directly correlated with plant growth and death cycles. The cyclic fluctuations in Martian methane is reflected of active biology, which is also depicted in before and after pictures of specimens photographed by NASA. Interestingly, some took this further and said that NASA need to be held accountable for not investigating these photographs. Going back in 2014, it was announced that NASA was being sued because they didn't investigate an alleged life form on the Red Planet. The original image showed what looked like a Mars rock appearing in front of the Mars rover, and when people saw it, they claimed that it must have been proof of life on Mars. Mr. Joseph was one of the individuals behind the claim, and said that NASA should be investigating what appears to be alien life on Mars, but said that it's odd that NASA refuses to look into what was captured by the Martian rover. Mr. Joseph said the following about the image. It's actually a mushroom-like fungus a composite organism consisting of colonies of bacteria, and these can be found on Earth. I want to compel and order the National Aeronautics and Space Administration 
and its chief administrator Charles Bolden to perform a public scientific and statutory duty, which is to closely photograph and thoroughly scientifically examine and investigate a biological organism which was identified and thus discovered and photographed on Mars by NASA's rover Opportunity in January 2014, and which NASA referred to in a press release as unlike anything we've seen before. We are totally confused. Although it sounds like an odd request, NASA themselves did say that the photograph was of interest. In fact, Steve Squires reported that the origin of the artifact is a mystery, and that he and his team who further looked into it couldn't explain what it was, and were baffled by its appearance. The team did say though that it's likely not a rock, but that it could be something like a meteorite. Another idea was that this could just be a rock that was flimmed. Online users though don't buy into this idea, and have asked NASA to conduct further research around the area to determine what the object is. As of right now, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration have said that these photographs don't show life, and that they have examined some of these alleged artifacts further and no life was present. Again, though, some have criticised the space agency and said that some of these discoveries have been left, and that they're only brought to light when amateur researchers happen to find them in NASA's Mars Library. NASA officials have also said that people should only listen to them and their scientists when it comes to Mars discoveries, saying that they're the ones who know about what's going on in and around Mars, and that anyone telling you that there's life on Mars is wrong, and that these claims are not backed up with scientific evidence. So what do you make of these interesting photographs? Do you think they show signs of life on Mars, or are they just Mars rocks? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.